Hi folks, we're going to test amazing clear cast resin. I've got here a piece of sycamore with a tack and a little nail in it and I'm going to pour these holes and see what we come up with. Okay, B part's a lot thinner. For instructions, mix until you have no more swirl marks. Pour from the edge as not to cascade. This is sycamore. It's a lighter wood, not qu quite as hard. It's not really porous. The tack had air up under it and the bubble released while it was curing. The nail, I'm assuming air come up from the grain. Same here. My suggestion would be to heavily shellac. It's got a, a froth of bubbles built up on the bottom. Got pretty deep in the grain. Same here, it came way down. But I didn't get nowhere near. I don't see a bubble in the maple at all. Probably a light coat of one pound blonde shellac. And it'll be nice. Here's a leftover resin in the cup with my stir sticks. And as I said, the thinner parts would still be tacky, and they're right. The little drips on the inside are still kind of tacky. Let's get a hardness test. It even took the writing from the inside of the cup. Now, it's not fully cured where it was. One thousand. Two thousand. All right, light coat of one pound shellac. Four alt steel wool. And a touch of Minwax furniture polish. Alright, that was some light coatings with some sandpaper, not very long.
Are you making holes? Not bad for a two-year-old. <laughs> 